monitor what is the accurate AMH count level and is the AMH required before IVF? Okay, by AMH we mean anti-mullerian hormone. So this is a hormone which tells us what is the ovarian reserve of a woman. That means how many eggs are there in a woman's ovary. That is the place where we the eggs are produced. So by knowing this, you know, we will come to know how many of them uh, are produced, how many of them can grow into follicles, how many of them can help in achieving a pregnancy. So roughly, we will know the fertility capacity of a woman. Now, so this AMH level, uh, the actual accurate level is between 1 to 4 nanograms. So if it is less than 1, then that means that there is a serious issue and this is a low level and a cause for alarm. However, we cannot do anything about it. There are a couple of drugs which help in increasing the AMH, but uh, they are not really that effective. So in a woman's reproductive span throughout, like say from when she uh, is born till the end, there are a certain limited number of eggs in the ovary, which are around 1 lakh when she's born. These keep deteriorating with age. So when she attains puberty, it becomes 50,000. And after that, it keeps every cycle she tends to release one egg right so it keeps decreasing so around 50,000 eggs or so you know become much lesser as age progresses and after 35 there is a rapid decline in these eggs so the AMH level tells us how many of these eggs are there at any point of time and it not only tells us the quantity it also tells us what is the quality of the eggs that are present so that is why this is very important before IVF so when we do that we roughly come to know what are the success rate of the IVF treatment so we know that this is the AMH level so these are the possible number of eggs that we may get and thereby the possible number of embryos and whether these embryos are going to be successfully implanted and result in a pregnancy or not. So uh, that is uh, one of the important reasons why we do an IV, I mean AMH level before the IVF. Apart from that, uh, this AMH count also tells us how much of the drug we should give. So it helps us to determine the dosage of the drug. So for some women who have a high AMH, we may give a lesser dose of the drug because otherwise high AMH means that they have a high number of eggs. That means if we give a high dose, a lot of eggs may develop. So this is known as hyperstimulation syndrome. So This is dangerous for the woman's health. So we don't want that to happen. So then we can titrate the dose. We can give a lower amount of the drug that is needed. Dose. So in, in, in the other way around, a woman who's about 35 and her AMH level is no low, uh, then we know that we need to give her a higher dose of the drug to enable us to get better results. So this is the importance of AMH just before IVF. So it not only helps us with uh, diagnosis, it also tells us some kind of uh, you know guideline for treatment and it also gives us the prognosis of the treatment that is how successful or not this IVF is going to be.